Can you just start and explain why coming here to Pittsburgh to be the offensive coordinator just made sense for you? Yeah, it's a such a unique opportunity uh, to be able to, to work for an organization like the Pittsburgh Steelers with the history, the culture here, and the opportunity to work with Mike Tomlin. It's a, to me, it's a perfect cultural fit. In terms of your offensive philosophy, how would you describe it to somebody who's never watched one of the games you've coached? Yeah, certainly with our offenses, we've clearly adapted to the strengths of our players, but there's a certain identity we, we want to have. Uh, you know, any offense I've been a part of, you know, it's, it's going to be a physical brand. You know, you want to win the line of scrimmage, but it's also talking about playing the strengths. Obviously, trying to create explosives. When I have a very smart unit, because it's going to come down to the National Football League situational football, which kind of encompasses third down, two minute and a half in the games. Obviously, red zone. That's what we have to do. We have to score points. You got to have those full point swings and, and create touchdowns. For the quarterback to be successful in your system, what do you need to see from that person? Well, they're. And I've been fortunate, I've worked with a lot of different quarterbacks at different parts of his career. Like with Ryan Tannehill, he was at a different part of his career than Matt Ryan was when, when I had the opportunity to work with Matt. Then worked with young quarterbacks as well. And it's, it's exciting to you know, hear you know, the way that this offense is built with a lot of young players. And obviously where Kenny Pickett's at, going to his third year. Playing with a young quarterback, you know, being efficient, you know, being able to get the ball out and, and making the smart decisions, getting the ball in the playmaker's hands, and taking care of the football. And a lot of things that come up and the responsibility of playing quarterback in the National Football League, because there's pressure situations, they happen, happen all game. Mm -hmm. And having command of those situations and ultimately you know, putting the ball in the end zone, you know, whether it's through the air, or, you know, handoff or running it in. Uh, but there's a lot on it and there's a natural evolution that happens with the quarterback. You mentioned Kenny Pickett, uh, Steelers President Art Rooney II said that the OC, he wants to see them help Kenny take that next step in his career. How do you start that process and what do you think that's gonna look like? Yeah, well, first off, you know, there's a relationship that's gotta be built between me and Kenny. And uh, that's so paramount between the play caller and the quarterback. You know, the quarterback's obviously the one out there between mm -hmm. the white lines and there's, there's a trust that's gotta be built daily and it goes both ways. You know, I've gotta earn Kenny's trust and, and vice versa. As we build this offense and, and all the things we wanna work on and we want him to work on and, and take command of his offense. As you start to look at this roster that's currently here now, free agency and the draft will happen, what excites you about this group? There's a lot of exciting young football players here and guys that, that Pittsburgh's invested in, guys I'm really excited to coach. It's a young offense, but it, there's a lot of exciting players. During your time in Atlanta as the head coach, what do you take away from that experience that can maybe help you as you come to Pittsburgh? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, obviously thankful to be here, be part of Pittsburgh, but uh, as all the different stops on, on my coaching journey, you know, very grateful for the opportunity I had in Atlanta. You know, it was a unique situation, essentially rebuild a team and there were some good lessons learned and, uh, and, uh, and some tough lessons, but uh, it'll help me here, especially with some of the young players that we have and how you fit the offense and try to play those guys' strengths. I and mean, we, we had a lot of young guys we invested in and you know, we had three straight years where a rookie went over a thousand yards. Guys that were productive and, and dealing with that and how they fit into this and what we're building here in Pittsburgh. So all those experiences add up, uh, but I'm really excited to be here. You mentioned Ryan Tannehill, but going back to Tennessee, the last time you were in OC, what made that group click where you guys had such great success as a unit, but also individual players too? There's a huge part of this that uh, the chemistry and fit matters. You know, there's, there's so many great players and coaches in this league, but mm -hmm. a lot of it is about chemistry and fit and how they, those, those guys able to come together. And there was, there was a lot of shared values between a lot of those guys in Tennessee. And that's a big part of it. And that, that is real, you know, there's certain guys that fit together and what you're trying to do and there's an evolution as guys improve. There was a great chemistry among those guys and those offenses that I was able to, to be a part of in Tennessee. You crossed paths with a lot of people with Steelers connections, Mike Malarkey, Mike Munchak, Mike Vrabel. Did you lean on those guys at all during this interview process as you you know, decided you wanted to come to Pittsburgh? A little bit, but those are conversations I've uh, had through the years. There's so many people that have Pittsburgh connections that it's kind of a dream come true to be able to work here. You know, I'm somebody that loves the history of this game. And I can even take it back to when I um, was able to work for five weeks with Tom Moore. I've already walked by the, I've seen a young Tom Moore. I know Tom's <laughs> looked like he's been the same age for the last 30 years. <laughs> Going back, I think for his 46 year coach in the National Football League. But those five weeks uh, developed relationship with Tom. And, and the one thing that hit home to me, he's like, I don't know why people don't study Chuck Noll more and Tony Dungy. Mike Markey was the same way, you know, Mike got to, play here at the end of his career. And then he coached here and he was adamant about 
learning about Chuck and, and there wasn't a lot, there's not a lot of literature on Chuck Knoll and I love it, his humility and I got that advice from Tom and Mike Malarkey. And then obviously you mentioned Mike Vrabel who was here as a player and started his career here, Bill Cower. And then I've gotten to work with Dick LeBeau, Ken Wisenhunt, Russ Grimm, Ray lot. Horton. I mean, there's so many connections, <laughs> Lou Spanos. I could go on and on, like who's who, players. Uh, and everybody to a person talks about how special it is to work here in Pittsburgh. And so I, I don't know many places like this in all professional sports with the history and, and there's a certain unique, when people see that Steelers logo, they know what it is. And uh, the fan base is real football fans here. They, they love it. I'm excited to be a part of it. When you get a chance to talk to your players, meet your players, what's the one thing you really want them to know about you, the person? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody I've ever tried to coach, whether it's been one day or, you know, five years, is, you know, you try to build a relationship and, and to get to know the person first. And uh, there's a certain way we want to operate. There's an expectation, but it's not lost on me. This is a relationship business and everybody's different. And that's the one thing I'll certainly go out of my way to make sure that we have a relationship because there's a certain style and, you know, the way we want to coach uh, demands and the style of play is going to be big, but it's that trust in the relationship that I'm excited about trying to develop, which every, every player we have here on offense. Every feature I watched or read about you, your work ethic is always brought up. How was that instilled in you? And uh, does it go back to when you were really young? Is it a football thing? Certainly a love of football happened at an early age. Um, but, you know, I'd give a lot of credit to my parents. You know, I'm one of 10 kids. My mom, she somehow got us all through. <laughs> and then uh, my father, you know, was fortunate to be raised by an old Marine that served two tours in Vietnam. And one of the most humble people I know, never been impressed with himself. And so, you know, I'm lucky I get to coach football. And, uh, you know, I just have a mentality. I mean, you, you know, you got to earn your job every day. And it's, it's a privilege and honor being in the National Football League and certainly working with Pittsburgh. So it's just it's the way it was instilled in me when I was young. You mentioned your dad and the Salute to Service nominee for the Falcons the past two years. Is that where you got so involved in supporting the military, making sure you give back? It is. Uh, like I said, he, he was a Marine that uh, did two tours in Vietnam. Uh, my great uncles and a lot of people that served in World War II. Uh, I've got two nephews that went to the Naval Academy that are, that are currently serving. One's a Naval uh, pilot and the other one took a Marine billet over in Okinawa. So it's the least I can do to try to give back. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for your time.